guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe because you know you want to. Today's video is in collaboration with guess what? HelloFresh. But this time we're back with the veggie meal. HelloFresh offers three meals, classic, veggie, and family. So if you keep watching, you'll be able to see what delicious treat I cook up for you. Today I'll be creating a veggie meal. The ingredients include potatoes, arugula, mayo, vinegar, parsley, artichokes, grape tomatoes, green olives, sliced almonds, feta cheese, chili powder, and garlic. First, we start off by washing and drying all produce. HelloFresh not only eliminates time-consuming meal planning, but it also eliminates grocery shopping. Pat dry between two paper towels and cut the artichokes in halves. With HelloFresh, I'm able to choose my delivery day for when it works best for my busy schedule. After slicing your tomatoes, olives, garlic, and your parsley, you'll start cooking your potatoes. Heat a thin layer of olive oil in a large pan over medium-high heat. Add potatoes and cook until brown and crispy all over. I used only one pot to cook this entire HelloFresh meal that made cooking speedy and cleanup easy. Now it's time to make our garlicky aioli sauce. In a small bowl, combine mayo, vinegar, a pinch of garlic, and chipotle powder. Don't forget to season with salt and pepper. We are now ready to assemble by first placing the arugula on a plate. Next, adding the potatoes, your artichokes, tomatoes, olives, feta cheese, and of course the almonds. Drizzle your aioli on top and garnish with parsley. Time to try. This is delicious. I really look forward to my HelloFresh delivery. It's the highlight of my week knowing dinner just got that much easier. I was interested in excluding me from my diet because I wanted to attempt a healthier lifestyle. HelloFresh has provided me with just that, and I love it. For $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, visit HelloFresh.com and enter promo code AshleySmith30 at checkout. Good morning from Chicago. I am heading to, guess what, the airport. And um, I have a two-day trip, so I'll be actually deadheading to New York and then I work a flight to Tampa and then I work one last flight to Baltimore and I have an overnight there in Baltimore for about I think 13 um, 12 or 13 hours and then I get up tomorrow and I'm supposed to deadhead home to Chicago but it just all depends on um, the need for reserved flight attendants and um, how scheduling wants to treat me tomorrow <laughs> But yeah, so I will um, check in with you guys when I get to the airport. But I'm so happy though, because this is the end of April. And for some reason, reserve was an ass this month. Like I was working like crazy and I was working like pretty much all mornings because it's actually 6.40 a.m. I got the call from scheduling around 4.30 a.m. So yeah, this month has been really hard, but I'm happy because next month I have a line, which means I'll know exactly where I'm going, when I'm going, who I'm flying with and all of that. And they're all PM trips. So I love PMs. <laughs> as much as I said that I wanted to start working AMs, I was forced to work AMs this month and it's been a struggle. I'm not gonna even lie, it's been a struggle. But luckily, um, again, next month I'll have PMs, but I'm heading to the airport and I'll see you guys when I get there. Made it to the airport, and again, I'm dead heading to New York, and then I work a three hour flight to Tampa, and then from Tampa, I go to Baltimore for like 13 hours. I'm actually in the A concourse now, heading to the last gate, because of course, that's where my dead hit is. Um, I think we have like an hour, and um, I think an hour and 10 minutes on the ground when we get to uh, New York. But LaGuardia Airport is my least favorite airport. It's so small and it's so busy. And it's really nowhere to sit. But we do have an hour there, which is fine. And it's early in the morning and I'm hungry, which is a shock. Because normally I'm not hungry this early. But I did pack a lunch for only two days, which is fine. And um, I got some snacks. I got some food, so I can't wait to peek in there. We'll dive in there and eat what I have. Maybe I'm just dead in it. I don't know. Side note, it looks as if Midway is under construction. Cause this used to be our walkway. Now we actually have to walk. Hmm. Why?
said that the plane that we flew in on is the plane that we're taking over to then take to Tampa and then in in Baltimore so it made it a little easy for us um, we have about an hour and some change ground time so we're just hanging out I was gonna pick in my lunch bag to see what exactly I have packed in here because I am a little hungry let me show you guys what I have inside so I got potato chips my favorite cookies Got an apple, I should probably eat now. Peaches. Pasta, that's gonna be good. And I think this is dinner. This is definitely dinner, which is rice, chicken, and a roll. Crackers to go with the pasta. Let me show you guys the pasta. Oh my god. It's gonna be so good, it's gonna be so good. All right, I need to pack this in so that I can be able to close it, but all of this food is gonna be so good because I am starving. We made it to Baltimore. We're in Baltimore. We are about to head to the hotel. It seems like we've been working all day. We need a break. My feet are killing me. But yeah, we are heading to the hotel and I'll see you guys when we get there. You guys i just have on flip-flops leggings and a little t-shirt that i got from i think boohoo and the hair wrap is from zara but i just wanted something to lay my hair down but i am heading downstairs to um grab some water to drink with my dinner and yeah the dinner is here this is what i had earlier i have chicken strips rice and Hawaiian rolls. So I'm gonna find a microwave to warm this up and grab something to drink and then we are good for the night. I of course need to show you guys my room. So I have this huge bathroom. Super huge bathroom. Oh my God, look at the shower head. But yeah, huge bathroom and it's the end room so I can be as loud as I want because no one can hear me. And obviously the bed, that is my suitcase, desk area, and we have outside. Here's one of these fancy little things again that I have to try to open. And look guys, if it was nice, it's kind of, it's a little chilly outside, so I will not be utilizing the um, fireplace or the fire pit that they have out there. But this is so cute though, like if I, um, had a longer overnight and you know my co-workers were cool we'd go out there and just like you know have a good time but it's just like a a roof is there but that would be really nice to utilize one one day I'm here on a long overnight but it's just a lot of greenery out there nothing major and then another hotel across the way and I think those may be apartments but because it's not that warm outside I will not be going for a walk but I will be going downstairs to um get some water because I'm thirsty and I have had a very long day but tomorrow we're supposed to deadhead home like literally just from Baltimore to Chicago deadhead home get in at like 8, eight in the morning and then we should be finished but I'm on reserve so that will will probably change but I'm gonna need all the prayer warriors out there to pray that it stays the same and that Ashley gets released early so she can enjoy her four more days off until I start my line month which I'm actually excited about because reserve was hell this month like so many AMs, so many crazy trips but next month I know exactly where I'm going I'm gonna be in Seattle back in Sacramento I'm gonna be in Detroit like I have a lot of cool places that I'm gonna be and I'm really excited about that so next month is gonna be lit definitely gonna be lit but I'm gonna head downstairs and I'm going to of course take you guys with me all right guys so I'm downstairs and I'm warming up my food in the microwave so I can go back upstairs but you guys, I just ran into a subby. She actually works for my airline now. She's one month in, and she'll be based in Chicago next month. That was so cool. Her name was Ashley. Oh my gosh, she was so sweet. I didn't even think to get it on camera because we were just like, you know, I guess so happy to see each other. Like, I didn't think to record it, but she was so sweet. And if you're out there watching Ashley, oh my God, you are such a sweetheart. And I cannot wait till you come to Chicago so we can fly together. But anyways, guys, I'm warming up my food and I'm starving. I feel like it's still early. Like, I don't go to bed until like midnight. But now I have to go to bed like early because, you know, I gotta be up early. And I'm just like, ugh. I don't have to 
be absurd. But this food is gonna be so good. But y'all, we get 50% off at the restaurant. I'm like, now nah, if I didn't pack anything and I was starving, we would only get like 10% off or like 20, cause that's like pretty much, yeah, 20% is normally what we get on. 20 to 40%, but 50%, that's a great deal. And I'm like, if I didn't bring anything, it would have been a crappy discount, but because I have food, we have like a bomb.com discount. But I'm actually gonna come back down here and get dessert once I'm finished eating because they have $7 um, vanilla ice cream with a brownie and $7, 50% off of that. Okay, that's all I need. Oh, but I got cookies on my bed. Right, my oh crap, didn't work as good as it should have, but yeah, I'll get what I was trying to do. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs now. Hopefully, I got enough hands to carry all of this stuff. Actually, I don't know if I am. But I'm gonna see you guys when I get upstairs. Central. Um, I think it's about 5:30 where I am, but we are heading to the airport. I'll see you guys there. You guys, I've made it to Chicago and I am in the lounge, and um, I'm just hanging out up until I get ready to leave and go home. It is 7:45 a.m. I did pretty good today. Scheduling released me. Um, they were being um they, they were super nice they were like no we don't have another assignment for you you are released enjoy your four days out i was like yes thank you god i was so happy about that um but sorry guys this is a short vlog but it was only a two-day trip so it wasn't much that i can show and plus i had really short overnight but again thank you for watching please go ahead like share and um subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye